Welcome to TradeTheNBA.com. This is John's Report. It's for Monday, the 28th of October. And as we head to the very end of the month here, you can see we pushed right through uh, with our gold rising. Our expectation was to move to that 100%. It had slightly dipped from our Morganacci lines, but needless to say, it was still pretty close to those previous high ranges. And this is what we were talking about. Even within this modest week setup, we were still hanging above the ABM yellow, and that 29.90 became the, sort of that threshold. And then we even had uh, the 5K chart that 94 level and when we were caught between that the 3008 and that and it wouldn't break below um, that was sort of the key demarking point that we were looking at as far as uh, determining whether we were going to be moving uh, back towards those highs uh, within this soft move but we had continued rising shakeout and it worked out just like we expected so nice there was a moment where we were wondering whether it was going to be able to, you know, sustain itself. Uh, but the, every time we got even anywhere near the 94, uh, we just found new buyers and that just keep uh, adding to support and then boom, it just took off from there. And so we have the NQ, also the NASDAQ, uh, then that same reset, same rising gold. And you can see it clearer there on this uh, GAM function paper here and breaking out to new range because it had an even lower uh, step down from the Morganacci lines, but that puts it in a uh, much better position than we had for the NASDAQ. The euro we talked about this was looking to reset to fill back in the positive extreme uh, that took place right over here. And it's just about doing that. And again, this is because of the chaos with uh, Brit exit not ending and clearly they're not uh, going to be leaving. So, it's actually a good thing for, you know, Remainers and EU supporters of uh, the Euro. And that's why we are seeing this elevated level, because otherwise this was looking to break down if it got worse from uh, uh, EU. And we saw that down at the 108. There was really a lot of concern at these lows, because if you break below uh, that 106 range, uh, it really gets tough to sustain a Euro over par uh, or even. And uh, gold, a uh, slight increase from it. Uh, it's going to be tough for this to do much of anything given the um, failure of the steel reset, unless it spikes uh, well above that 13.5, which we're not seeing quite yet. But it's enough to give it a little boost. We still have the dips below the red line here that uh, will likely get retraced. That's why, even on the bounce, faded. And that's going to depend on a lot of geopolitical uh, back and forth. Uh, from a 5K standpoint, we'll slide back a little bit, not much from the beginning of the day. We had a little dip, came back down, we filled the dip below the red line, which took place right over here, and boom, we just started to take off, uh, which was interesting because we hadn't had a reset of the steel uh, significantly that early, but we got green. Actually, I should have a bar right there for you to see that one. Green crossing above the cyan on the rising red DOC. Put the right color for it. And we just proceeded to boom. And this is what I was talking about. We have the 94 here. And when we came and revisited the lows back down in this, we were still above that 94 range. And so the 308 uh, became uh, really the significant breaking point and kind of stalled right at it there. And then boom, once we broke across, uh, we had the 2014 and then boom, we came up and we had this first DLC spread, which with the steel under, yeah, it was likely to cave, but you weren't looking for a home lot because again, when it pops back above that uh, negative 13.5, you're going to end up with a more bullish uh, move, which is exactly what happened. It wasn't a whole lot uh, coming back, which was interesting, uh, right along that uh, EBM uh, yellow line. And then if we pull forward towards the end of what we saw for the day. We ended up with a little bit cleaner DLC spread on this one because you actually had the full reset uh, going forward at that point because steel had moved above. And now we're in a broader short configuration within that, even though we're getting these little bullish uh, setups within here, uh, steel cross back below or a rejection orange coming back up before uh, the below the red line there of uh, DOC red and we should see uh, well at least a move back and that's why the 3014 is positive extreme that has been filled from right back here and you could make the case even the one right back over here which takes us just above that uh, 3008 it's close enough to the 308 but 
I'm not going to add an extra one because otherwise you just get busy. So I waited for the next breakout move, which was right here. You could follow any of these other ones uh, that have been filled back in already. So those have been cleared out as uh, far as this you know, current run. So uh, we've got a complete reset of shakeout and you're still relatively decent place. We know that always typically that 3023 range had been tough uh, to get past before and uh, it's proving to be the exact same. But if it breaks out past that, then well, you're looking at, you know, 3050 range plus. So um, this is just gonna, and it's gonna be interesting because we're gonna end uh, right about the start of the new month with new money coming in. Um, Potentially relatively at these highs, of course, you know, obviously at the end of October there's always interesting shenanigans, but um, the last several years things have been more positive than negative, so. As always, I will update you. I will be sending out indicators for the new month and be ready for that. Uh, all good, so terrific stuff, and we'll just keep starting it up uh, again for the beginning of the week. Trade well.